What's going on guys? Nick with Nick Talks Batman and today we are going to be reviewing the Mr. Freeze figure made by McFarlane Toys. So let's go ahead and open this up. So here's a close look at the McFarlane Mr. Freeze figure. He stands at 7 inches tall and has 22 moving parts of articulation. This is a very detailed figure, but like most of these figures, it lacks color. So what I'm going to do is repaint the figure with different shades of blue and maybe some purple. So stick around until the very end of the video to see the newly painted Mr. Freeze. And also, McFarland Toys has renewed their contract with Warner Brothers into 2023, so I'm hoping we can get more of these villains because there's a ton that haven't been made yet for this line. So let's take a closer look at this figure. The really cool thing about this figure is you can pop the helmet off and you can put it back on. So, I really love the face sculpt on this. Very detailed, as you can see, you can see the wrinkles. I love the paint job they did on the face. And then you have the classic red goggles for Mr. Freeze. So awesome job on the head sculpts. Making our way down, we have the armor for his suit. So, like I said, I am going to repaint this figure. It's just the colors are very very dull and I think it can be done a lot better. So, we have the hoses here that go back to his canisters here, I guess you would call, and these make his suit cold so that he is able to live in the souk because Mr. Freeze cannot live in average temperatures due to the lab experiment gone wrong that he did to cure his wife. Um, flexibility, pretty good. And the really nice thing is, guys, these shoulder pads can move and they're actually rubber, soft rubber. So. He can do these poses, okay? So armor's pretty cool. You got the belt, the gloves, and there's a side view. They put a lot of detail into the armor. As you can see, he's got like a strap here to keep the armor on. And then he's got the belt. And making our way down to the legs. Very detailed. And then we got the boots. And obviously, like every McFarlane figure, we have the stand. And, like always, you get the... You get an accessory with the figure. Here we have his freeze gun. I'm probably going to take this off because I just don't like how it looks. I think it looks kind of corny so I'm gonna take that off um, one thing I will say you got to play around with the hands to get the gun to fit they are flexible they're a little hard at first but you can get the gun in there you just gotta play around with it a little bit like so and there you go you can pose them however you want. My pose I want to do is something like this, where he's kind of holding the gun. But we really, I really want to get this off, this one. 